hands off the bargain that you can't buy. More on that later. I'm here with another PJD guitar. I have a Carry Elite, which is such a fantastic semi-hollow guitar. So unique, so beautiful with a bolt on neck. It's like a Fender Telly thin line without being that. And it's got the bare knuckles and it's an amazing guitar. And then I recently reviewed the St. John Limited with the P90 and a humbucker in offset, but also semi-hollow. And these are fantastic guitars clocking in over 2000 bucks. Now what we have here from PJD in England is a small team handmade HSS, I'm gonna call it what it is, frickin' Strat, which just today was set to sold out on the website. So why in the world am I making this video? Because you can continue to order them and they will start building them again or building the current orders in October. So yes, the wait is a little bit there. That's not English. There's a little bit of a wait. You can also pre-order it from your local dealers because these will be popping up, especially in Germany at smaller boutique or dealers. And why is that such a special thing? Why am I even making a video about this? Well, small shop in England, pretty high-end components, 999 pounds. In Euro, we're looking at somewhere between 1100 and 1200 Euro. That is below Fender American Pro factory made. Wow. Does not come in a case, comes in a cardboard box. But component, holy crap, build quality, holy crap. So what we have, an American Ash body, not high gloss, that's one point where you can save a little bit of money. But let's see, two piece body, nice. This is the plum color, which is of course, maybe not your first choice. And then plum with the tortoise shell in, Leslie, what did you say when you saw this? Uh, it's ugly. Uh, it's ugly, she said. <laughs> Leslie doesn't like the tortoise at all, or tortoise. That's actually Le French. Tortoise means frickin' turtle in French. So plum with that. But you know what? This is, a, everything is custom. The thing is, when you order yours, either through a dealer or directly from the website, they will give you a call and talk about your options. Do you want SSS? Do you want Le Tortoise? Do you want Plum? What do you want? It's custom. Huh. That's pretty cool. For the price. Holy crap. So we have that. Ash body. Jessica 55090 frets. Don't know what that means, but you might. Scale length 25.5 because of the freaking strat. Quarter sawn roasted maple hell yeah neck. The same neck dimensions and the same neck quality that they use for their carry elite and all their really high-end guitars. Same neck, holy crap holder. Definitely not something you get from Fender. Look, I love the Fender American Pro 2. It's a great guitar for the money, but that's amazing. Um, we have rather big side dots. Go to the move camera, see. We can probably see them beautifully in there. Yeah, rather big side dots. Very easy to see right there. Pretty le cool. We have um, 23 millimeter at the, what? Neck depth? I don't care, whatever. It's a C-shape. It's a, not thick, it's not an Ibanez. It's, it's very comfortable. It's a C. 10 to 12 fretboard radius, it's a compound radius. Ultra thin nitro, also not something you get from the big brands at that price point. Heck no, very thin nitro finish. Uh, but of course, you can still feel and see the grain. So, ultra thin. The fretboard, uh, 22, 22, 42 millimeters here. Indian rosewood, no roseacre, no whatever, no porphyro, Indian rosewood fretboard. Bone, nut. So all these components are pretty high end. Well, they probably saved money on the pickups, you say. No, they didn't. Barnacles! How? The thing is 1100 or 1150 or whatever euro. Now, I love this on my Schechter Nick Johnston HSS Strat video. People said, 
all good, but when is someone gonna do an HSS strat with a hardtail? Now! Awesome! Always oh, gonna sound different, but that eliminates this whole cavity, that eliminates the work and the money, and eliminates tuning problems. So if you're not a wiggler, wow. So, hardtail goto. Tuners are goto vintage style, slotted, so that's very easy to change strings. I just changed strings on this because it came with nines, now it's got tens. Ernie Ball M Steel for the win. Uh, M Steel for the win. Um, did I just offend some gang somewhere? I don't know. Um, the hardware's nickel, bare knuckle, old guard, single coil, and then who knows what that is. It was a little bit tilted, where am I? To the back like this. And I had to get the pickups in a little bit higher. They were rather far down. It's a little bit wobbly. I should, maybe there are these um, foam things to put under them, something like that. Um, the jack, I have to admit, is a little bit like, the last bit you really have to push hard to click it in. Yeah, I don't know, PJD, fix that. Um, other than that, this is a pretty damn high-end guitar with the nitro and the bare knuckles and the roasted maple and the handmade in Britain by a small team for like 11, maybe, you know, the thing is they might have said, okay, we're, we're stopping the orders right now because we're going to sell a billion of these and we literally have to build some guitars that actually make us money. They might not actually make money on this. So put in your orders now, you have to wait, but holy crap, hola. And as I say this, we're gonna go get sounds. We'll start with the Tone King Gremlin. Uh, on that setting, with a little bit of reverb. Sounds are very wiry. They are on the thinner side. Don't expect this to be a thick sounding guitar. It doesn't do that. I did earlier compare it, that's also not English. I earlier compare it, I did, that's better. With the American Pro 2, SSS Strat, and it sounds almost identical. So it definitely has that level of tone, but they're all very fendery. is on the thinner side with quite a bit of treble to really to really match the single calls. I'm gonna engage a little bit of I'm gonna turn that off a little bit of delay with a little bit of that side from the JHS gunshot. Those tones are delightful. Thank you. 
George Humbuckers, Evil. Let's go more high gain, other side of the gunshot. <laughs> gonna go into more amps as we always do we're gonna pump it into the achilles argos which is totally different all power amp distortion slightly fuzzy fizzle and compression and very classic rocky let's see and a lot of um dynamics let's see because of the compression here we go <laughs> is pushing that amp evil. <laughs> Let's go to the Rev 740 on the Crunch Channel. <laughs> It's very strutty. <laughs> That 
was just moving my fingers without actual sounds. Push that! We go to the angle. I'm not gonna go drop down, drop D, because I don't think that's a sound for this guitar with that pickup. It is a stratty kind of a thing. Uh, let's see how heavy can it be with the Engel Fireball 25. <laughs> Yeah, so generally speaking, quite a lot of guitar for the money. I wouldn't say this is a guitar for the heavier stuff because it always has that single coily brittleness. Even when you're on the humbucker, this is not a super fat guitar. It's like I wouldn't, for example, use my American Ultra Strat clock in and at almost twice as much for the heavier stuff because in the end, it is just, it's stratty. Okay, it's not super fat. You use a different guitar for that, and that rhymes. Um, I love PJD. I love lead from PJD, and that rhymes again. I love what he does. Cool, cool. I like the headstock, which is more telly on this. I love that it's a hard tail, not just because it makes it less expensive, but because it makes it less of a headache. Uh, weight, 3.7 kilograms. Same as the Schecter, by the way. Um, it feels like it's a little bit on the heavier side, but it isn't. It's pretty standard. So, very impressive for the money. The big drawback is you can't get one. So what you can do is, if you want a PJD, go to the website and order yourself another one, which is more expensive, because those say they were built quicker. But if you want this, put yourself on the list, get in early, and then you simply have to wait. Uh, they were a little bit crazy, offering custom strats, the wood foot, offering a custom wood foot with roasted neck, bare knuckles, nitro, bone, all that stuff for that little money. I know to some people, 11, 1200 euro is quite a bit, and I'm not saying it's not a lot of money, but I'm saying for what you're getting, that's pretty phenomenal. So, that's it from here. I will link below. I will thank Jens and Lee and the whole team. Thank you guys for commissioning this video, oh, which was paid, but the sounds I can't fake. Uh, so, whatever. I mean, I could be saying whatever. You heard it. If you like it, fine. If you don't like it, fuck what I'm saying. Don't buy it, okay? Um, pretty impressive. And uh, thanks for switching, Leslie.
and animals at the end. Just see all my flaws and my boundaries